Today we're going to show you how to make beautiful watercolor works of art using three things. Coffee filters, markers, and water. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? <laughs> That's so neat! We have beautiful works of art. It. Let's go. For the coffee filter flowers, coffee filters, washable markers, plates or placemats, water, spray bottle, pipe cleaners. To create your coffee filter flower, you're going to need a coffee filter, of course. You're going to want to flatten it out and make sure there's something underneath your filter because you might have some color bleed. So you can have a placemat or a plate, anything to catch those little water droplets. All right, so the first thing you need is a coffee filter. So you can grab one beside you or one of these. I know how much you like planning. So you can come up with a plan of what colors you want on your flowers. Coming up with a plan is very important in life. We know this as adults. So you can ask your kid, what do you plan to do with your colors? It lets them think ahead and come up with if they want squiggles or if they want lots of colors on their coffee filter or on their page. They can come up with whatever plan they want and these are skills that they will learn for life. Yep, go ahead and stretch it out there and use whatever colors you want. You can make rainbow colors. You can come up with, I know you love purple, do different shades of purple, whatever you want your flowers to look like. Yep, you can use either side. Doesn't matter how big it is. No, you can, and that's the fun part. We can experiment and see like what happens if we make small places of color or big places of color, or if you put some space between them and we can just find out what's gonna happen. Then you're gonna let your child create it however they wish. They can do patterns. You can talk about the way that colors mix together. Whichever you wanna do, let your kid create and have freedom to color the way that they love to color. I'm doing a rainbow. You're doing a rainbow one? I am not surprised at that. I feel like if they're closer, they're gonna mix together. Oh, okay. They and might spread apart. That's, they might spread apart. That is a good hypothesis. Do you know what a hypothesis is? Uh-huh, an educated guess, you're right. This activity is so simple, yet it creates space for you to ask your child some thought-provoking questions. I wonder what would happen if I made some that had like squiggly lines. I'm gonna do some squiggly lines. Can I do some? Sure. What's gonna happen if I put yellow and blue near each other? It's gonna be green. Yeah. Rachel, show me your coffee filter. Show me what you did. Look, it's rainbow. It's beautiful. I love it. What do you think of mine? Cool. Then, after you're done coloring, you're going to take a water bottle and you're going to spray the water on there. And this is where you can watch the magic happen. Once your coffee filter dries, you're going to have a beautiful coffee filter that's colored something like this. We are going to spray it. How much do we spray it? We can just test it and see what you think of how much you need. Go ahead. Rachel, what's happening now that you've sprayed it? What's happening to your colors? Whoa, the colors are changing. The orange is mixing with the yellow. That's beautiful. Now we let it dry. Yep, we're gonna let it dry. See what happens since there's a little bit of space between the colors. See if they start mixing together. Whoa! Nice! It pretty much made. After it's dry, you're going to take your coffee filter and pinch it together. You can create big flowers, small flowers if you make them a little bit tighter. Then take a pipe cleaner and you're simply going to wrap it around and you have a beautiful coffee filter flower. So you take your filter and you're going to pinch it kind of in the middle like this. Nice. Just like this. Pinch it in the middle. And see, as you pinch it, it kind of crinkles and makes a flower. And then you're gonna take a like pipe this? cleaner. Yes, that's a beautiful flower. So then take your pipe cleaner and watch mama real quick. I'm just gonna wrap one side around and maybe wrap it around one or two times if you feel like it needs more stability. There you go. Make sure the end gets wrapped around. Good. There. Beautiful. So these are the flowers? Yes. They're beautiful. It's a big flower. It is a big flower. May I smell yours? <laughs> and we can add them to our vase. Here, add your flower. 
Cool. Beautiful, Rachel. <gasps> Look how beautiful yours is. Cool. I like how we can make different sizes of flowers. How some of them are big and some of them are small if you pinch it even tighter. Rachel, look at our beautiful bouquet of flowers. What do you think? They're so different from each other. I like how different they are. And we can also give them as gifts to people. Cool. I think this will brighten. To Nana. To Nana. Do you think this will brighten anyone's day? I think so too. I think Rachel and I really loved this activity because it was so colorful. As we created our flowers, we got to talk about what flowers were our favorites and also just have mom and daughter time, which is so important. Good job, baby. We hope you and your family enjoyed making beautiful watercolor works of art. Let us know how it went for you and your kids by commenting below. And if you post pictures, make sure you tag us. Thanks for watching.